the hottest new player in baseball. Hi, I'm Joe Torre, and this is Baseball Talk. Today we'll talk baseball with Jim Rice. Jim came to the Red Sox in 1974 knowing that he would one day play left field, a position played regularly by just two men over the last 40 years, Ted Williams and Carl Yastrzemski. I think that was a feeling that I don't think any player can explain or put emphasis on um, as far as going to a major league ballpark and playing that ballpark his first day. I think it was intimidating for me to play behind a guy like Carl Yastrzemski in left field. As far as being a designated hitter at the time, uh, that wasn't difficult at all because the only thing you had to do was go up and pick up the bat and uh, swing and, and play the game. But when you had to go out and play defense and play against the wall, it was a different story. In 1978, Jim had the kind of season most players can only dream about as he led the league in six offensive categories en route to being named the league's most valuable player. When I uh, hit 40 home runs, uh, that, was, that was something that I had never dreamt of. I think the year before, I hit 39 or something like that, and I had never thought about hitting 40 home runs. It just happened. I think an athlete goes out and plays the game like he knows how and plays as hard as he can. He doesn't realize what kind of statistics he can put up on the board. And of course, the Red Sox team that we had back in 78, we had about four or five guys with 30 home runs or better. And we have a, we had a very productive um, season. We had a, a very productive ball club as far as scoring runs. A broken left hand kept Jim out of the World Series in 1975. But he made it in 86 with a Red Sox team that few picked to win. We had a little thing that called Kangaroo Court when we got Don Baylor. That if you not if you don't advance the guy from second base, it costs you five dollars. If the guy's on third base, you don't get him in. It's five dollars, and that was sort of a fun year. Uh, not only uh, being predicted to come in last, but to go out and have the year that we had, and made, it didn't really make me do things that I had done in previous years, but I sort of wanted to do. Whereas you sacrifice yourself, not necessarily going for the home run ball, but hit the ball to the right side. That's more of my game. Just hit the ball where it's pitched and go out and have fun. Thanks, Jim. For baseball talk, I'm Joe Torrey. Thank <laughs> you.